All right, guys. So I know I haven't made any Subaru videos in a long time. So I know I'm pretty sure some some of you guys are probably wondering what have I been up to, right? You guys are probably wondering what have I been up to? What? Uh, yeah, you guys like this thing? Air freshener. But anyways, um, I'm gonna show you guys the cold start issues that I have running E85 and I am consistently running 78 to 79 percent ethanol and that's without adding my E98 or E90 race fuel so uh, I just want to show you guys what happens when it's going to um, like the next day um, when you don't start the car it's like a cold start so this is the first time priming it and I want you guys to like actually I don't know if you guys can hear it but um here let me roll down both my windows here we go let me show you guys what I'm talking about oh what the heck I guess not what <laughs> um well uh, let's see 79 percent ethanol that was weird what the heck? That was weird. Um, what the heck? Well, um, I guess the video just failed, but uh, uh, but uh, that was weird. Um, I was having cold start issues with my Subaru, uh, like for the past, I don't know, for the past two weeks, like. Like I would try and start it up, just prime it one time, and I would try and crank it up, and like it'll bog out and just completely just like um, go and just die out. And I was it's been doing that for the past two weeks, and then now I don't know. Today today's is is even colder. Today is like 51, 52 degrees here in Wisconsin, and I'm really shocked that the car actually started because I haven't started the car yesterday or or today i decided to start it like right after i picked up my kids from school so it's weird it's almost a day and a half and finally the car it's just weird that out of out of out of all the days that i tried starting like doing a cold start i would have to crank at least two to three times or prime it three to four times and then and then press on the clutch like three four times and then the car will start up but here it actually instantly started up one time which is weird uh i don't know maybe i don't know timing ignition timing i don't know what it is i don't know i'm like i said i'm not like a i'm not like a, a certified mechanic whatever but i'm just really shocked that the car was having issues starting like the initial um ignition timing of the car so i don't know it's just weird that plus um I don't fill the car all the way up to the full tank. I just always try and fill it up to half a tank and then I just try to keep it there. And so, I don't know, it is what it is. Uh, I guess that's that's my video for today about my Subaru. I just didn't expect that to happen. Other than that, uh, ever since the wife got a new job, I really can't even, I can't even freaking, I can't even put this car in a dyno. And I know some people are probably wondering what the numbers are at I'm running on E85, so I can't even do that. Uh, the only thing that's coming up for this car right now is next week I'm putting on um, the Nitto Motivo uh, tires on the Koenig Illusion uh, wheels. Uh, the tires that I'm currently running right now, they are uh, the RT43 General tires. But they were already on the, on the wheels when I bought them used. So, like I said, this is my second set of Koenigs. And the other set is... The other set is... Like I said, this is the other set. This is the other set right here. This is on Dunlops. And then, this is the General's... Um, switch out the tires next week next week Wednesday and then 
that's it. Uh, I don't think I'm doing anything else to the car. And I, I don't know if I want to put any more money into the Subaru. So, um, what? Yeah, go ahead, have some chips. But other than that, that's pretty much it. So I know a lot of people were probably trying to, uh, well, the other next aftermarket part or mod would be the fuel injectors coming from um, Nostrum. I don't know when they plan on releasing it. The last email that I got from Eddie, he says that they went on Cobb Access, uh, Cobb, I mean, um, Cobb Tuning to uh, have a fully supported uh, file coding for uh, calibrating fuel injection or something. I forget what it was, but whatever it is. So that's the thing that they're waiting on. So, but they said they do have the injectors in work. So I'm excited to put the injectors and pair that up with the Nostrum high pressure fuel pump, which I already have. And I'm actually excited for that. So other than that, that's it. We'll see what I plan on doing with the car before winter hits, which I don't plan on doing anything else to the car. I, I mean, I mean, it, it's, it's enough power to, to daily drive, but Maybe I might push a little bit more with the front mount and headers. I'm not for sure yet. So other than that, that's pretty much it guys. Thanks. At a parking garage car meet tonight here. Go! Guys, so we're off. I'm at a car meet here, a little pop up meet here. So I usually don't videotape this stuff, but it's actually pretty cool. Meet, you know, it's like October, it's cold weather, but I mean, there's still, you know, pretty cool guys that come out here and still chill and stuff. So, but yeah, we out here. <laughs> 